The mysterious black hole phenomenon is the product of the violent and powerful explosion of a supernova, at least in theory. Before Hubble, there was no conclusive proof that black holes existed at all. The modern concept of a black hole comes from Einstein's theory of general relativity. If you take matter and you make it massive enough, dense enough, the gravity will be so strong that you'll create a region of space that light can't get out of. It truly does make a hole in space. You can get into it, you can't get out of it. It's sort of like a cosmic lobster trap. According to Einstein, a black hole begins with a very large star. It must be at least four times bigger than our sun. A black hole is, is a simple thing. It is a hunk of matter which somehow has gotten so small that the gravitational field right around it is so strong that light cannot escape from it. So even if it tried to emit radiation, the photons would fall back. They would be sucked back by the gravity of the black hole, and it would look invisible. During the blast of a supernova, the inner core of a star collapses into a single point, smaller than a pinhead. Astronomers call this single point a singularity. A singularity is an object with no length, width, or height, yet it retains most of the gravity of the original star. One of the primary goals for Hubble was to prove once and for all whether or not black holes exist. But how does one search for an invisible point? Astronomers decide to direct Hubble to examine the exact centers of galaxies. It is a wise decision. What they discover is that the stars close to the center of galaxies zoom around at very high speeds. This is not how stars normally behave. Most stars move along at relatively slow speeds. But down in the central hub of galaxies, stars are being thrown around by the gravity of something that is massive yet ultra compact. There can only be one cause for this effect the fabled black hole. Further evidence of black holes comes from Hubble's images of a mysterious jet some 5,000 light years long. The jet is piercing the heart of a giant elliptical galaxy called M87. The jet in the galaxy M87 is caused by enormous amounts of gas and dust piling onto the black hole. There's so much material that a traffic jam occurs. The gas and dust back up, forming a disk. Some of this material escapes and creates the jet. The black hole is showing itself with a parade of light. The connection between a galaxy and the black hole in its heart is not yet well understood. But astronomers believe that black holes play a part in the formation of galaxies. As far as we know, every big galaxy has a black hole at its very center. We don't know exactly how this happens. It must have something to do with gas falling in as the galaxy evolves. And this has been one of the revelations come through a space telescope, is the real deep and fundamental connection between black holes and galaxies, done by looking at M87, but also you know, dozens of other galaxies. Before Hubble, black holes were merely a concept, an unproven part of astronomical law. Hubble Space Telescope has changed that forever.